Very good evening, everyone. I'm Shilpa and I welcome you all to the Siksha webinar. Today we shall discuss the SSC CPO exam or a Staff Selection Commission Central Police Organization exam. Well, this is a national level test conducted by SSC to select eligible candidate for the post of sub-inspector in Delhi Police and Central Armed Police Forces. Paper one will be conducted in November 2022. And today we shall discuss all aspects related to it. Going into the police force is not that easy, but the right guidance at the right time will make your journey better and easy. Today, to make you confident to face this exam, we have an eminent expert, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. M. S. Pabla. He has served the nation with great dedication being in the Indian Army. He was an Army helicopter pilot and flew the same over the Siachen Glacier, said to be the highest battlefield in the world. He's a mentor at the Delhi Career Group. His achievement list is endless. We are so proud to have you, sir. And with this, I heartily welcome you to today's webinar. Thank you, Shilpa. Thank you very much. Saying uh, words of praise for me, I don't think I deserve all of them. And uh, I hope I will do justice by holding this seminar and uh, make the student aware of this particular exam. Certainly, sir. Your words will motivate us for sure. And to the students, feel free to send your questions to us through Q&A box or in the chat box. I shall try to get all your queries answered by the expert for the session and after a quick discussion with him. Coming back to you, sir. First of all, if you could just guide us on what exactly this SSC CPO exam is all about. Uh, Shilpa, I will tell all the students, those who are aspiring to become police officers in the Delhi Police as well as the Central Armed Police Forces. This exam is meant for the post of sub-inspector police officer in Delhi, male and female both, who are graduates and also uh, sub-inspector post in the Central Armed Police Forces, which includes Modern Security Force, indo and Modern Police, Central Industrial Security Force, CRPF and uh, many more. Okay. Thank you, sir, for telling us uh, about the SSC CPO and uh, what all uh, forces we can apply for. Also, uh, uh, as you said that the, I specifically emphasized on even the girls can appear for it. So Neha has this question. Can girls appear for this and what challenges they could face? Yes, uh, in fact, uh, there are a total number of... Uh, 4,100 vacancy in total. And in Delhi police itself, there are 112 vacancies for the female candidates. And uh, against the male candidates uh, for Delhi police are 228. And uh, rest of the central uh, armed police forces, there are around 200 posts for the female candidates. So these are meant for girls as well. Not to worry, Neha, go ahead and apply for it. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, during our registration, when we opened our registration, we already received several questions from the test takers. So, if you allow, then I'll start taking few questions. Okay. Reservations are meant for four to five type of categories. Firstly, I'll take uh, sub-inspector post male candidates for Delhi police. There are unreserved Vacancy that is for general it is 79, for OVC it is 42, for SC 24, ST 12, and economic, economical uh, backward uh, classes it is 23. So there are total category number is 180. There are also uh, reservation for ex servicemen, those who are from army. So there are 13 vacancies in total in each category. And uh, there are some special category for ex-servicemen, those persons who have served in commando force, special uh, forces, they have an instructor in their own uh, department. There are 12 vacancies for that. And there are uh, vacancies reserved for the serving police personnel also. Let's say some head constable, uh, ASI, assistant sub-inspector, and according to their age, their minimum uh, year of service is three years you must have served. 
and then uh, their age should not be more than 33. So in total of 228 male uh, candidates for service inspector post in Delhi police, so open vacancy are 180, ex-servicemen 13, ex service special category 12, and departmental candidate 23. So total 228 candidate for Delhi police service inspector post. Whereas for females, Neha, I hope you are listening, unreserved, that is general category, 51 girls are required, OVC 27, stool cast 15, stool drive 8, and EWS 11. So total 112 candidates, female candidates are uh, allowed in this for Delhi sub-inspector post. Whereas in the sub-inspector post in CARTF, that is Central Armored Police Forces, there are total number of 160, total 160. They include VSF, CIF, CRPF, ITBP, SSB. All this counts towards 169 post of servant factor for female candidates. This is a total reservation scheme. Thank you, sir, for guiding on the reservation and the number of seats. And it will certainly help all the students who has a doubt related to the number of seats and the reservations. Uh, so, sir, next up, we have a question. Uh, so, the student is saying this is the first time I have applied for the SSC CPO exam. So, meanwhile, sir is just coming back. Uh, we might have the internet connectivity issue there. I will tell you that you can raise your questions not just by raising your hands, but rather just posting your questions in the comment box or in the Q&A box. Okay, meanwhile, if you want to fetch more information about the SSC CPO exam, then I am just showing a page here. Let's have a look at it. See, it has all the details related to SSC CPO exam. So what exactly is SSC CPO exam, the salary bracket and exam highlight, even the exam dates, though the paper one exam date is out now, even you can have the application process, eligibility criteria, selection process, syllabus, exam pattern, preparation tips, admit card, result, cutoff, vacancies, and some FAQs. That means the frequently asked questions. So see the CPO salaries and how it is divided. And moreover, you can have the some exam highlights. That means the important pointers. So these are the posts offered as the sir had already told during the introduction part. And also if you can check the number of papers at the total marks. So the paper one will have 200, uh, 200 marks in total. And the exam duration would be a two hours for the paper one. Paper two date hasn't been released yet but it will be of two hours again. If I talk about the marking scheme, you can see that the 0.25 marks are deducted for the wrong answers in paper one and paper two. And for the correct answer, candidates will score one mark. And the medium of the exam could be English and Hindi. And let's see if sir has connected back. Okay, so we have started receiving questions. And I'm, I'm feeling just glad that you guys are sending so many questions and sir is back. Okay, sir. So I think we should start taking a few more queries if students want to ask you, sir. Go ahead, go ahead, Shilpa. Sorry, yes. but, uh, I missed uh, button press. No problem, sir. Okay. okay. So next up, we have a question from a student, and uh, he's asking this is the first time I have applied for the SSC CPO exam. So, sir, if you could just guide me, why should I consider giving it rather just directly going to any army, uh, uh, going for the Indian army? Okay, there are one or two things. There are always first time when you do anything. There's no second time. You always first time, whether it is exam or anything, uh, learning in your life. So, this exam is meant for those uh, male and female graduates who wants to serve the nation while putting on uniform, one. Number two, those who are interested in serving the police organization in Delhi and also for those candidates who want to serve in the other central police organization being graduate and don the khaki uniform. Okay, sir. Uh, so shall I take the next question, sir? Yes, carry on, please. Uh, so, sir, the next question we have received is, I am, uh, I am a ST category candidate and he is only 156 centimeter tall. 
So his question is, can he still join SSC CPO? 156 centimeter is around 5.5, uh, sorry, 5 feet, 1 inches. Yes, uh, Shirpa, I can tell you that uh, there are uh, physical standards laid down. And before you even think of giving the exam, you should have this much of physical standard already uh, when you apply for this. If your physical standards are not met, then you should not apply because you cannot increase your height and other things, stamina within one month or so. So minimum height for the girls, it is between five feet, two inches, say later 5.3 five feet, three inches. So between five feet, two inches to five feet, three or five feet, four inches, that is okay. For SC and ST category, it is 152 centimeter to be precise. It should not be less than 152 centimeters. Whereas in case of male candidates, it is 162.5 centimeter up to 170 centimeter height. And for male candidate, even your chest expansion is of 5 centimeters, that is from 80 to 85 centimeters. If you do not have these criteria, you should not apply for it. And secondly, the second part of this physical standard is physical endurance tests. They will make you run for 100 meters or maybe 800 meters, high jump, long jump, short put for the males. And uh, that is uh, for female, it is 100 meter, 800 meter, long jump, high jump. This must be there already. In fact, you should uh, consult any uh, your athletic coach and do this before you even fill up the question, uh, your application form. Because even if you qualify paper one, you have to undergo this physical tests. And if you don't qualify this, your effort will be wasted out. Okay, so uh, very well, you have guided all of us. So next up, we have a question uh, from the Sangha Man Kalta, and he is asking what type of attitude and mindset we should adopt to start the preparation for the SSC CPO exam. Uh, my dear student, the attitude has to be positive. Only positive attitude people are welcomed in armed forces. And in that, what I mean is, if you have decided to go for it, then go ruthlessly. Leave everything. You have an aim in your mind and carry on achieving it. Come what may for these two months, three months, four months of training and hard work for the written exam. You must go for it. That is the attitude which is required for anybody who is putting on the uniform. Right, sir. Right. I agree, sir. Uh, so, the sir, next up, we have a question from Mohit Garg. And he is saying that only two months are left for the SSC CPO paper one. So can he start uh, preparing for the SSC now? Will it be a good time to start the preparation? Yes, why not? Without wasting any time, go ahead and join. Because earlier you join, better it is. I would say if you are a graduate in science stream, you will have no, no problem at all. Sometimes graduate in the art subject will find some time the problem of solving mathematic papers Otherwise, there is nothing which stop them. So there is a strategy how to even uh, qualify these written tests, which we will discuss subsequently in the interview. But go ahead and start your preparation from day one itself. To the students who are raising their hands for to ask a question uh, to sir, you don't need to raise hand. Just directly put your questions in the comment box or in the Q and A box. I shall take all those questions. Okay, sir. So the next step, we have a question. I am a, I have a mole beside my eye and my domicile is of Uttar Pradesh. Will Gujarat graduation degree work for SSC CPO exam? Yes. You have a uh, mole beside the eye, not inside. So your eyesight, if it is okay by 6 by 6 or 6 by 9, putting on glasses, there is no hitch, there is no embargo. You are most welcome to apply for it. And secondly, you are from Uttar Pradesh. Doesn't matter. You should be an Indian citizen only. You are fit for that. And lastly, is your graduation degree from Gujarat University. You are most welcome. But the universe should be recognized by University Grant Commission, UGC. If the, it is a private university not uh, recognized by UGC, your degree will hold no water. The degree should be from a recognized university 
whether private or government under UGC Act. Perfect, sir. I hope uh, this will certainly help the student who has raised this query. Okay, next up we have a question, sir. Is I with LASIK surgery, that means the spectacle removal surgery, allowed in SSC CPO? In the medical exam, the medical specialist, especially the eye surgeon, generally accept the candidate with the surgery which has taken place at least six months earlier and your eyesight is six by nine. More details I cannot tell you because I don't have the figures and the characteristics since I am not a doctor, but it is better to consult any army doctor nearby if you want to. That will give you more insight about it. Sure, sir. Uh, okay, so we have more questions, sir. So I'll just try to combine these questions which are related to uh, the exam, uh, this SSC CPO exam and what all post it offers to us. Okay. I have said in the beginning also, the post is of the rank of a sub-inspector, SI generally called. Firstly, in Delhi police for male and females, 228 vacancies for male and 112 for females. And then rest 3,960 3, vacancies are for the Central Armed Police Forces, which include, I told you, BSF, ITBP, then you have got C uh, CSIF, uh, CARPF, all those in, included, and they have got 10% reservation for ex servicemen and 170 for female candidates who will serve all over India. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Many students are asking about are there any gadget or uh, sorry, uh, gadgeted or the ministerial post? Say again, I, I couldn't follow the question. Uh, any gadgeted uh, officers post or the ministerial post? Included okay. in this? Okay, I will clarify about this. Central government, that is the government of India, has issued the list of gazetted officers, class one, class two. Sometimes they call it grade A, B, C, and D class, right? There are two types of gazetted officers. First of all, you understand the gazetted officer is the officer which is selected by either the governor of each state or president of India. Their name is published in the Gazette of India. That's why they are known as Gazette officers. The class one officer are defined in the seventh pay commission, those who are above the level of level 10. Level 10 onwards, upward are the Gazette officer class one. If you look at the pay scale in the seventh pay commission, the pay matrix, there are levels made from 1 to uh, 20, I think. So level 10 onwards, it is a class 1. And those with level 6, they are gusted officer of class 2. Uh, so, sir, uh, next up, we have a question from Shreyas. And uh, he's saying, my height is 5.11 and my chest size is 41 inches. Will it be enough to clear SSC CPU? Your height is enough, but the chest, I told you, 80 centimeter, 85 centimeter when expanded. So if you fit into bracket, you are most welcome. But sir, I have a follow-up question on this. Will only the physical appearance matters for this exam? Because I feel that the candidate has to be physically, mentally and emotionally strong. So what's your take on this, sir? Yes, firstly, if you are physically fit, then only you apply for it. Otherwise, if you don't cater for the physical standards and endurance, which I have been given already, uh, like uh, running within the specified time, high jump, long jump, and all that, if you don't, you should not apply. Secondly, so your physical standard has to be of this order. Now, talking about your emotions. In defense forces, emotions do get the priority, but not always. You as a girl have to have these type of emotion under control. You cannot uh, uh, bypass or violate the rules while arresting somebody. Let's say a female wants to uh, forego a female girl doing a, uh, any uh, violation of the rule while driving and all that, nothing will happen. This time you have left her, second time she will get into an accident. So emotion do not carry any weight, maybe a 10% or so. 
but under extreme circumstances. Otherwise, you should be emotionally, physically stable and fit, and you should have that much courage to call spade a spade. Okay, sir. So the next step, I have received a question related to the age limit. So, sir, if you could just discuss on it. Uh, the basic qualification was given 20 to 25 years, and the age limit in general it is 20 to 25 years as on 1st January 2022. Candidates which are born before January 1997 and, and not later than January 2002 are eligible. This is general category. Now, in case of ST and SC, five years age limit is given. Five years. In case of OBC, other backward classes, it is three years. And for ex serviceman, it is again three years. But there is a catch to it. Any ex serviceman, whatever service he has done in the army, that is first deducted from his age. Let's say a person has uh, done 15 years of service or 10 years of service and present age is 30. Both 10 will be deducted from their 20. Again, three more years uh, deduction is supposed to be given to him. So for ex-serviceman, number of years served will be deducted from your actual age. And then three years concession is given. And for uh, like females, I am talking, now there will be widow, uh, divorced females also who would be applying for it. For them, it is up to 35 years of age. She can apply. In case of widow, divorced women, but they belong to SCST category, then it is up to 40 years of age. She is eligible. This is the age criteria. Thank you, sir, for clearing on the doubts related to the age criteria. Now, sir, the, uh, the questions I am receiving is related to the eligibility criteria. Uh, like uh, Salma Banu has this question, BA degree, is it allowed for the SSC CPO exam? Yes, any degree. It is written any graduation degree from a university which is recognized by University Grant Commission is allowed. Right? right? It could be BA, BSc, BCom, anything but any graduation degree. The age criteria is told already, physical standards are told. These are eligibility criteria in total. So go ahead. Okay, sir, related to this only, I have received a question. Uh, he's asking, sir, I am a constable and has the age of 30. Can I also apply? Any exceptions for any constable? constable okay, any constable, head constable, assistant sub inspector in the police, who has got three years of service, continuous three years service and below 33 years. That is mentioned, right? 33 years in case of OBC, 35 years in case of SCST, in general, 30 years. If he, he belongs to general category, he has got three years of service, he should not cross 30 years as on 30th August 2022. That is the cutoff date, okay? If he is from SCST category, then should not be more than 35. And in case of OBC, he should not be more than 33 years of age. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, next up, we have a question, sir. Though we are going to discuss about the marking scheme at length, is still uh, Mohit Garg. Uh, Mohit Garg has this question. Uh, for the SI in Delhi Police, how many marks is required for the general category? How many marks are required? Yes, particularly in the general category, sir. General category? Yes. Okay. For male candidates, general category 2021 exam, there was a cutoff marks required 114 out of 200. This is the cutoff marks below which they were not called. So this is for male. Whereas for female candidate, unreserved, they are more intelligent. It is 118, four marks difference. 118 out of 200 in paper one. And there's a technical hitch about it. In paper one, there are four sections. And each section, you must qualify with 35% marks. 50 number ka ek section hai. 
चार सेक्शन 200 नंबर के हैं दो घंटे में करने हैं आपने सो इन ईच सेक्शन यू मस्ट गेट 35 परसेंट मार्क दैट इज 17 टू 18 इन ईच किसी में आपके 40 भी परसेंट हो सकते हैं किसी बार 100 परसेंट भी हो पचास में चालीस नंबर भी आ सकते हैं बट लास्ट टाइम वॉट है उसके नीचे वाले जो भी थे उसको नहीं बुलाया गया उसके ऊपर वालों को बुलाया गया Have I answered your question? Yes, sir. You have answered it very well. Okay, okay. sir. So the next step, we have more questions. Uh, how to prepare for the SSC CPO after class twelve? Tushar Yadav has this question. Okay, after twelve, I think you should go for some more NDA and uh, other exam instead of going for this three-year training and then you are thinking too early. And graduation may be more years to go. And even let's say you want to go to police only after graduation. First, do your graduation with science subject preferably, and do well in that. And in the third year of graduation, go and join DCG. We will prepare you for the written exams for this, right? And the uh, rest is the destiny for you. That's all. Okay, sir. The next step, I can read a question from the Bapi Oda, and he has a question. How to develop an attitude towards working for our country? So, so being an army veteran, you can just guide us better. So the attitude is positive. You must have a positive attitude to serve the nation, and to serve the nation, you may be first present go to the army, then go to the police, so that you can fly the national flag high everywhere in your field, right? Let's say you want to go the police also set the examples corruption free examples. They have have the courage to say uh, two things: spade is spade. जिसको बोलते हैं सच्चाई के साथ चलना. I know it is very tough in the police to go on to this line, but somebody has to start the example. So you must have the positive attitude to serve the nation, do the right thing at the right time, and you should be a human being first. and every time because that empathy towards the people is required otherwise they will not respect you they will hate you which is generally now we see in these days police ka naam sunte hain everybody gets swagger dar jate hain sabhi log pata nahi kya ho gaya actually they are there to help you out right so positive that you have to create and win the heart of the people general public you will survive you will reach i right okay so so let's discuss more about this ssc cpo if you could just clear the salary structure for the sub inspector in capf and sub inspector in delhi police including both male and female okay uh, the salary structure is same for both whether you are in a uh, general duty then capf or you are in delhi police you are Put in the level six. That is your starting basic pay thirty five thousand four hundred. And if you add into allowances and other things, it becomes around forty forty two thousand per month. Right? The basic goes to thirty five thousand four hundred. Whereas it is the same in the Delhi police also. There is no difference. The only difference is those who are not uh, opting for Delhi police or not selected for Delhi police. they will serve into the various other police forces spread all over india maybe on the borders maybe in the industrial uh, institution government is in like airports and defense organization and all that so wherever it is there the the starting point is the same level 6 in the seventh pick mission okay so sir next up we have a question from aditya from this question onwards we can discuss about the exam pattern and structure uh, particularly he has a question how he can prepare english though he is from the hindi medium background well uh, hindi is a national language and everybody understand it but at times you have to learn what english also because maximum courses coaching books are in the english language right and it is not a herculean task aajkal to jo bahar jaate hain ielts karte hain speaking course bhi english mein karte to have a better command over english so there is no hitch you can learn english within 2 3 months itself so have a crash course on how to speak english and the practice you 
more practice you do, the better it will be. Initially, you might have seen while cycling, you might have fell down two, three times, and your knees got uh, fractured even. If not, worries. So second time again, you go. Third time, you learn cycling. Same it goes. You start speaking English, whether good or bad, leave your side. Somebody will correct you if you are speaking wrong English. So try speaking in front of the mirror with the police in the house. Somebody will correct you. Don't feel about it. And sometimes you learn on your own also. That this is the correct way of speaking English. But suggested that you should join English speaking module of two three weeks or one month. You will be upright in the English speaking also. Okay. So the next up, we have received another question from Muskan Tomer, and she is asking a. Uh, uh, learning from online platform there are several platforms available sir nowadays so will it be a good idea to learn from them about the ssc cpo exam like uh, considering giving mocks and doing some crash courses something like that yes this facility is now very much available when we are teaching online to the students of the school as well right so online it is yes it will help you but you cannot compare this with the offline that is face to face some doubts some personal touch from the teacher personal tricks all those are better if you join personally and have face to face i am not saying that you cannot uh, qualify the exam online yes you can but you may not have that merit which you otherwise can have when you are having face to face with the teacher Okay, sir. So coming back to the question I had raised related to the exam pattern and its structure, sir. So if you could just tell us about the exam duration, like total number of papers and the marks, that will help the help us, sir. Okay. There are. Uh, uh, firstly, I will tell you the what is the schedule for the total process. After filling up your form, you will be required to appear for the written test, which is now in November. I think first or second week, you will get to know when is the exam, right? That is for paper one only. Two hundred marks, two hours questions. Two hours you have to undergo two hundred questions with four sections. First section general intelligence and reasoning, fifty marks, fifty questions. Second general knowledge. and general awareness again 50 question 50 marks third quantitative aptitude mathematical equations right 50 again 50 marks fourth one english comprehension in which you will have grammars and proposition correct the wrong answer wrong sentence and other things again 50 question mcq type that is tick the correct one so 200 question 200 marks 2 hours given to you so you have to clearly get into these four section and do the practice with the mock test against time that is the criteria that is the strategy to qualify let's say you are a ba student so quantitative aptitude that is mathematics you are not able to run only clear the this section with 17 marks because The let down is thirty five percent marks in each section. So, in this, you have seventeen or eighteen number. We will get. Then it will go. Let's say your best thing is general knowledge. From there, in fifty questions, you should be able to correctly do forty to forty five questions. So, overall percentage should be more than one hundred and ten, one hundred twenty. Because last time total marks were one hundred eighty. Cut off mark was that. i hope i have cleared that wherever you are having a, a positive thing your uh, best subject carry on doing maximum question into that correctly right after the paper 1 you are again asked for your physical tests which i have told you in detail physical endurance test which needs that you must qualify you are these tests whether it is a running whether high jump and long jump and short put for the men and otherwise for girls again it is 100 meter 800 meter high jump long jump the uh, height and the length is varied between male and female candidates right once you qualify that then again 
Third stage is to appear for the paper two. Again, two hundred marks, two hours. Right? It is a English comprehension in which you have got a paragraph. You give the answer to the question after reading it, and there are associated other uh, grammatical and uh, uh, English uh, literature it is a things where you have to take the right answer. So this is again you have to clarify. And clear this with thirty-five percent marks. Again, the, these are added to paper one and two, and total percentage is taken. And top hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred in each category persons are taken. After that, detailed medical checkup will take place. You have cleared paper one. You have cleared your physical test. You have cleared your paper two. after this detailed medical examination will take place and after that top 400 4300 sub inspector will be put on roll and their names and roll number will be published that's what is the total procedure as such thank you so much sir you have explained it at length uh, we have received a follow up question on what you have said uh, so the mohit garg has this pro has this question Uh, can he clear SSC CPO exam without doing well in mathematics in paper one? This is what I have told. If you are be be a student, then you should always do the basic concept of the mathematics so that you clear eighteen marks out of that. Right? You cannot go into binomial theorem that other things which are very difficult one. So basic question out of those fifty question in the quantitative aptitude you should be able to do that eighteen to twenty questions and rest you should prepare well other three sections you should be able to do it English miss four करो ज़्यादा right general knowledge को improve करो so that you cross one hundred and eighty marks that's what is my advice okay so considering the time we are left with. i'm sharing a poll here so that we can understand whether you are liking this webinar or not so the first question is like was this session helpful you can poll it in a yes or a no and the second question is would you like to recommend such webinar to any of your friend and uh, those who are just uh, saying uh, this was this is not helpful you can post your queries in the comment box or in the q and a box and uh, sir will answer all of it Okay, so meanwhile we can answer a few more questions. Okay, so this question is like, the can you please discuss about the difficulty level of the exam? Is it equal to the NDA or SSC other exams or SSB exams? Sir, did you hear the question or should I repeat it? I I want that you should repeat the correct. Sure. Sir. Close the format. Sure, sure. Yes, please repeat the question again. Sure, sir. I'm repeating it. So the question is that if you could just discuss about the difficulty level of the exam, and the second question related to that is that the difficulty level of the exam equal to the NDA or SSC or SSB exam. There is hardly any difference because the uh, same rule and set of rule with little bit of variation apply to the NDA exam because that exam. there is no physical test as such but in the self selection board there are some obstacles which they are supposed to cross for that general fitness is required even if they are having these type of uh, physical fitness test if somebody qualify it is a uh, added bonus to go for the nda exam it is on similar line little bit of difference up and down here it is must there it is not must here it is after the exam you have to appear there is nothing like that it is in the ssb only written exam and we go for the ssb there only you are just on clearing these uh, obstacles and other things that is the difference okay so thank you for clearing that uh, i think so many students are worried about the medical examination and the physical endurance test so we have a question related on this only how to prepare ourselves for each stage including the medical examination and the physical standard test okay i will tell all the boys and girls both included here that today onward you should go to the near 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 most stadium nearest stadium 
and if possible get hold of a athletic uh, teacher coach athletic coach and uh, your high jump long jump 10 feet ditch rope climbing running on the track you must practice all these things from today onwards so that you can improve and when the time comes you are successful you must start the practice practice makes a man i will say practice makes a man and woman both the perfect right it's not a man only it is a woman also so carry on do this and you will like it because a healthy mind rest in healthy body your body is healthy only when you practice so healthy body will have healthy mind go for it it doesn't cost much okay so the next up we have a question can we apply for the permanent position afterwards in fact this uh, post is permanent only it is not a temporary post this post of sub inspector is permanent in nature when you do this you will be promoted by inspector also after some time and after the last one is assistant commissioner of police acp and by the time you would have earned the pension this is a regular post with pension and other benefits so why you are asking this question okay whether it is permanent or it is permanent okay sir thank you for clearing this doubt i think this doubt was very common with many students okay sir uh, so uh, previously we had a question related to the mocks and the previous year question paper but sir uh, one question i have received from a student how to attempt mock test to analyze the strength and weakness if you could just share some guidance on this okay shilpa before i answer this question of mock test i will tell those pe- person who are even now shaky about the permanency of this uh, my dear student once you are selected as sub inspector si in uh, delhi police as well as in the other police forces which i have mentioned earlier after 12 years of service 12 to 15 years of service you will be promoted as inspectors after that again maybe 10 years or so you will be promoted as assistant commissioners of police acps post film mein dekha hoga aapne so that's what is the promotion aspects because by the time you would have reached your age of 50 52 which is mandatory after 52 in the central government everybody retires with pension you can say 20 25 years away when you are going inside again 15 year service when you become inspector 40 ho gaye again 10 to 12 year service 52 ho gaye your acp this is the promotion avenue somebody was asking what are the promotion avenues so this is what is there in store for you so you go highest rank acp and you join as sub inspector okay that's one promotion aspect and uh, now it is about the mock tests mock tests are the test which are based on the last 5 years pattern of the tests mock test 1 2 3 4 what you should do is do maximum number of mock tests within the specified time and after that carry on with your feedback which question or which part of the section of this paper was not done properly go and do that the, the, the section in which you have got a better hand give the less important while doing mock test where you are lacking carry on with that but remember one thing those who are ba or bcom type do not get into learning the binomial theorem and difficult thing just concentrate on the basics of mathematics so that you can clear the basic questions and concentrate more on your positive strength that is your general knowledge gk reasoning power of reach in english language so that you score well that side and cater for what are deficiencies you have got in mathematics that's what you should follow do the mock test as many as you can against time check for answer and get on your feedback okay sir uh, we have received a question from muskan and she is asking sir ssc and pcs that means the state civil services are similar in difficulty level especially in paper 1 no uh, there are two different things the cpo is a 
स्टाफ सिलेक्शन बोर्ड फॉर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया पीसीएस इज ए प्रोवेंशली सिविल सर्विस दैट इज फॉर द स्टेट्स एवरी स्टेट हैज गॉट ए सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम्स सो दे आर द गेट ऑफ द स्टेट दे आर एग्जाम स्ट्रक्चर दे आर फिजिकल स्टैंडर्ड आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर बोथ ऑफ दैम दे आर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दे आर सिविल स्टेट गवर्नमेंट and their physical test in police organization whereas in pcs there is nothing like you should be very good runner and all that there is no physical test and all that nothing there is written test only than interview in pcs and ias there is no running in what in that ah uh, yes medical is in bold at the time of intake after that you may be one night still you will get the pension of a chief secretary right so, right sir right sir Yeah, it has happened. It is it is a true story as such. Whereas when I in the in the army, you will be thrown out. See the difference. This is the difference. Somebody was asking. Yes. Physical fitness, no. It is mental awareness, mental faculty. How to take uh, correct decision at right time. That is more important. In the IS, there is no running no all. State sir, where is running? Where is running? Where is running? Police me, so every day you have to run. शूट करके भाग गया तो आप भागोगे कि नहीं दो दैट इज डिफरेंट स्टोरी कि आजकल की पुलिस में देर आर पर्सन विद फैक्टमिंग उनको बाहर निकालने की कोशिश करते हैं लेकिन फिर भी वो किसी न किसी तरीके से वापस आ जाते हैं सो दैट इज ऑन द लाइट साइड सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीसीएस एंड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एग्जाम्स so muskan sir has answered your question really very well uh, so sir considering the time i would like to take few more questions uh, we have received questions related to the revision strategy because the syllabus is quite vast at the time is so less yes i will say not the hard work smart work is required you should choose which is easy for you to answer in the question against time otherwise you will waste your day and night hard work reading whole syllabus the concept which you are not heard at all uske bare mein aap lage hue ho that is not required you be choosy and see what is your mental faculty can solve up to what level right and moreover time is always very less whole syllabus it is very difficult to cover and whenever we are teaching also we take this for granted कि पर्सन हैज गॉट बेसिक लेवल एट द प्लस टू स्टेज एट लीस्ट कि उसने ये पढ़ा होगा दैट्स व्हाई वी टेक ऑन फ्रॉम दैट ऑनवर्ड्स सो डू द हार्ड वर्क बट इन अ स्मार्टर वे इट इज कॉल्ड स्मार्ट वर्क एंड ओनली डू दो थिंग इन विच यू आर द बेस्ट डू नॉट आस्क फॉर द न्यू थिंग एंड स्टार्ट लर्निंग एंड ऑल दैट दैट्स नॉट द वे दैट्स नॉट ए हार्ड वर्क दैट इज नॉट ए स्मार्ट वर्क आई होप आई है yes sir okay sir quickly let's take uh, another question uh, so ridhima has this question very less time is left so i'm very much worried because the moment i have created notes and when i go through that notes again i just find myself in a confusing state again so if you could just guide on how should i create notes okay when you are making notes in the class it is very easy to make notes when you go home start reading you don't know what has happened the logical sequence you must write in that don't do shortcuts and uh, stenography jisko short hand bolte the kabhi whenever you writing and clearing doubts logic must be understood and must be written in that way once you have understood but not written ghar mein jaoge to bhul jata hai then you are against stuck i hope i have made myself very clear so notes whenever you make in the class make sure that you are going to read it again at home ho sake class ke baad when the teacher goes read them again quickly and see where is the doubt clarify here again that will give you the better answer instead of going home then that you will keep asking the teacher on phone so make the notes logically and repeat it if you have got it free time in between let's say and you are coming for the classes after one or second period lunch break and all that go through it 
immediately now it is fresh in your mind you will connect each and every step at home you may not that is the key word or keys to success okay sir the ritu ritu has a very interesting question she is asking as she is asking about the time table sir i know so many questions but gladly <laughs> we are very happy that we have received such amount of questions so the ritu has this question that she is preparing for this examination uh, but she is worried about the time table because she wants to concentrate on the computer based test physical test and the medical test so how her time table should look like uh, if she is targeting for the daily preparation okay you combine both written and physical test as well every day in the morning and evening go for the physical exercise go around the stadium do high jump and uh, long jump and sit ups 100 to 800 meter running that is what is required physically every day without any break till your physical exam is conducted whereas in case of written you are sitting on the computer but watch about your eyesight Six by six, six by nine. That is what is more important. And carry on with the uh, hard work in the field and smart work out of the field. Okay, sir. So, uh, we would like to have concluding words from you. Maybe you can tell us about the some do's and don'ts. Golden words, golden dictates from any teacher. I am also teacher. I was teacher in army, instructor for the officers, and also. teacher in the college and university after doing my two phd's first phd in psychology second phd in business management golden rule is please prepare yourself with your hard work and smart work without this you cannot move ahead of course general knowledge and general awareness this uh, power of reasoning is a routine task you must be doing it every day you are taking the season there is a logic when you have to take a decision this way or that way so that will follow but hard work and no alternative smart work is the best work and i wish you all of all the candidates best of luck in medical as well as written exams may you all become sub inspector and driver acps of the police okay so it's time to wrap up our uh, wrap up this session for today and i will try to summarize it what we have learned today we understood about the ssc cpo exam sir also cleared us about the number and the types of posts and the seats age limit salary structure uh, he also talked about the exam pattern and structure selection process uh, paper 1 and paper 2 educational qualification how you can prepare for the mocks pyqs and the question attempting strategy and thank you so much sir for guiding us and clearing all our doubts with much of patience you are most welcome and best of luck till then sign you off thank you to Good all luck. of you for being the part of this session and with this i am shilpa signing off till then take care and keep checking our portal for the upcoming webinar thank you and namaste bye bye Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel.